everyone. Today we are doing a stretching session because we do need stretching, right? And um, all you need is a mat. That's it. You can take your shoes off and get comfortable. And we are going to start right here from flat position, bringing our knees to our chest, rock side to side gently, giving our lower back a little massage. And then bringing one leg down, keeping our knees in and push it in as much as we can. Now you don't want to push on top of your knee, you want to go a little lower or even under. Okay, and bring the knee close to the chest, feel that stretch on your quad. And from here, you're going to bring your arms out in a T and drop on the side like this. Now you want your shoulder to stay down and the leg to move. And you're gonna look at the opposite direction of where your knee is facing. Stay there for a second. Normally during the session, we don't have time to really stretch as much as we need to. That's why we also add in our stretch session. And now right here, the other side, one leg is flat, the other one Go around, the shoulders are on the floor. Hold it, hold it. You can even push it down gently with your hands. And bring it back in the center. All right, that felt good. Now from here, what we want to do is put in our feet together in a butterfly position and try to push our feet in. And again, rock side to side on our back. All right, now gently we are going into a seated position and we're going to touch our toes. And front. to do a figure four so we're going to put one foot on our leg and the other leg is bringing it bringing it bringing it closer so here is great for our piriformis and we are going whoo, to stretch as much as we can so the closer the other leg come to the body the more we feel the stretch let's hold it and breathe inhale from your nose exhale from your mouth Slowly let it go. Let's repeat the same thing on the other side. Ooh, and you are going to feel like always one side feel better than the other. One side is harder to stretch than the other. Bring it closer, bring it closer. So you want to feel a little bit of discomfort, but no pain. If you feel like a sharp pain or anything, then you need to get out of the position, okay? It's normal to feel a little bit of discomfort and let it go. Feet together, butterfly position. Now let's try to push our knees down on the floor. Look straight. In. In. All right, from here now our legs come forward. We are going to cross. Uh, one leg and bring, wrap up our elbow around it and look back. Feeling the stretch in our glutes. Hold it, hold it, breathe. Let's get back in the center, switch sides, same thing. Okay, then we are going flat in our stomach, okay? 
And from here, let's go in a cobra position. So our hands come next to our shoulders. Bring it up. Inhale, exhale, child pose. So feet come together and our knees are apart and we bring our arms in front of us. Keep focus on your breathing. Inhale from your nose, exhale from your mouth. Again, inhale, exhale. From here, again, back into a cobra. Inhale. And let's go into a downward dog. So let's curl our toes down and forward right here. We can um, pedal, back pedal our feet. Okay, you wanna be into a reverse V position. And now from here, let's go into a lunge position. So right leg come in the front. Let's drop our left knee. Come in, inhale, exhale, lean forward. Again, inhale, bring our arms up, back is straight, exhale, lean forward in the inside of the leg. Last time through it. Awesome. From here, let's bring both legs back. Let's do one cobra back to downward dog. Same thing on the other side. Lunge. Let's drop the back knee. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And if you breathe slower, it's okay if you need more time. Perfect. And now from here, let's go all the way flat on our stomach. We are going to spread our arms into a T. And what we're doing right now is this. We are going to stretch. And if you can, so the back arm is flat straight like a T figure. And the, uh, the leg that is up, we try to grab it with our hand and hold it like this, feeling the stretch in our quads and also our shoulder. The more we go back, the more we feel the stretch in the shoulder. And breathe. One more time. Slowly bring it back in the center and now we repeat the same thing on the other side. job. Back in, hands down. Bring it into a cobra and make our way up again into a seated position. Just looking at our time. See how we're doing. And right here with our back straight and we can cross our legs. Inhale from our nose. Exhale from our mouth. In. And out. And in. And out. Okay, now we are going to bring our right arm in front of us, hook it up with the left, and hold it. Again, stretching our shoulder. So a lot of time people do this, and we are not feeling anything. You're just holding your arm. You really want to hook it up and feel the stretch on the top part of your shoulder. Stretch, stretch, and hold it. Inhale and exhale. All right, switch sides, same thing. Maybe while you're watching this video, listen, you can put some relaxing music under as well. All right, right here we're going to stretch our neck a little bit. So put our hand down and tilt our neck gently on one side. We put a lot of tension on the shoulder and neck part. Keep 
breathing. Okay, the other side, same thing. And last one. How you guys feeling? So this is a great stretch. You guys can repeat this workout multiple times. Can do it every day. Uh, we should stretch more often. It's really, really important. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this workout. And of course, this can be after a great workout, uh, going outdoor, doing a workout at the house, whatever you want to do. Get moving. Thank you guys. And uh, have a